क्वेश्चन सीज स्केच दी फिजिबल रीजन एंड आइडेंटिफाई दी रिटेंड कंस्ट्रेंट फ्रॉम दी फॉलोइंग सेट ऑफ इनइक्विलिटीज नाउ अ रिटेंड कंस्ट्रेंट इज अ कंस्ट्रेंट और एन इक्विलिटी व्हिच हैज नो इंपैक्ट ऑन आवर फिजिबल रीजन इट्स एक्जिस्टेंस और नॉन एक्जिस्टेंस विल नॉट चेंज दी फिजिबल रीजन लेट अस फर्स्ट स्केच दी फिजिबल रीजन आवर फर्स्ट इनइक्विलिटी इज x plus y is less than or is equals to 6 to draw any straight line we need two points and the easiest or simplest two points are x and y intercepts at uh, y intercept x is always zero and if x is zero if you put x zero in the equation we will get y is equals to 6 so our first point should be 0 comma 6 and if y is zero and if we put y is 0 over here we will have x plus 0 is equals to 6 and x is equals to 6 therefore the second point will be 6 comma 0 now if 5x plus 3y is equals to 15 for finding its two points let us say when x is 0 the first equation will will become 5 into 0 plus 3 into y is equals to 15 and y is equals to 5 this will be 0 comma 5 and secondly when y is equals to 0 we will have 5x plus 3 into 0 is equals to 15 and therefore x is equals to 3 point to note is that i have taken once y0 and x0 however it makes no difference if you take any other values for all values of x you will have a corresponding value of y but if you take zero it will make your compli- complicated calculations really easy so we have found uh, two points for this line as well one of the points is 0 comma 5 and the second point is 3 comma 0 x is less than or is equals to 2 is a straight line parallel to y axis and these two as already discussed in previous videos are non negativity constraints now if i draw or sketch my y and x axis uh and uh, start with equation number 1 it says x plus y is less than or is equals to 6 and the two points are 0 comma 6 and 6 comma 0 this is x axis and this is y axis at x axis y is always 0 i will have uh, my 6 comma 0 coordinate over here at y axis y, at y axis x is always 0 and at x axis y is always 0 so my 0 comma 6 will point will be somewhere over here this is my first line drawing the second line which is 5x plus 3y is equals to 15 my first coordinate is 0 comma 5 and 0 comma 5 will be somewhere below the other line and 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 will be somewhere here now the third line x is less than or is equals to 2 x is equals to 2 will be somewhere here and the line for x is equals to 2 is parallel to y axis these two define that the uh, shaded region should be in the first quadrant remember there are four quadrants of a graph and in first quadrant both x and y both values are positive i have discussed this in my previous videos you can view them to clarify what does that mean now just uh, let us say uh, shade the feasible region the first inequality said x plus y is less than or is equals to 6 this is the line for x plus y is equals to 6 the shaded region should be below this line anywhere below this line second 5x plus 3y is less than or is equals to 15 it again denotes that this is the line for uh 5x plus 3y is equal to 15 and the shaded region must be below this line below this line and the feasible region feasible region is a region which satisfies all conditions or all inequalities simultaneously by simultaneously i mean all at one time therefore the first one said that the shaded region should be below me or below this line let's say this is a and the second said that it should also be below this line therefore we will not shade this area between these two lines because i have to fulfill all conditions at a time uh, uh, all conditions simultaneously 
The third one is x is less than or is equals to 2. We have a line of x is equals to 2, which is this line. Let's say this is C. And by less than, it denotes that the area should be on left hand side of this line. Since on the left hand side of this line, we have x which is less than or is equals to 2, whereas on right hand side it is greater than 2. So my shaded area should be this area, only this area. This area meets all the conditions at a single point of time. If you check any of the conditions or if you select any of the points in this area, you will see that all the conditions, condition number one, condition number two, condition number three, condition number four, all will be fulfilled at a single point of time. Pick any point and you will say that uh, you will see that x plus y will be less than or is equals to six. 5x plus 3y will be less than or is equal to 15, x is less than or is equal to 2 and x and y will be greater than 0. Now what is a feasible, uh, sorry, redundant constraint? Redundant constraint is any constraint, any inequality, which has no effect on our feasible region. Let me draw this diagram again clearly. This is x is 2 and then we had uh, a line which ended at 3 and 5 and we had one more line and that line was from 6 to 6 6 to 6 and then we shaded this region since it met all the conditions now if you want to write the definition of redundant constraint redundant constraint is any inequality the existence of which has no effect on our feasible region mm -hmm. for example if i remove this line will my feasible region change no it won't let me remove this See, my feasible region won't change. My feasible region will remain the same. Or even if I add this line again from 6 and 6, my feasible region will stay the same. It will always be this region even if this line is removed and we do not have this line. The feasible region will never change. So any line, the existence of which does not change our feasible region is called a redundant constraint. And in our question, the redundant constraint has the equation x uh, has the equation x plus y is less than or is equals to 6 so you can write that uh, x plus y less than or is equals to 6 is a redundant constraint it does not have any impact on our, on our feasible region its existence or non-existence is irrelevant for us thank you for watching this video I will be uploading ACCA and CA past papers from CA finals as well in my next video lectures.